That guy is just standing there. Okay, the reef is underground, so we go up first. No, wait, there's a target over there as well. Okay. Holy shit, I didn't see him. Oh, the other guy is coming. Is he not come investigate? Man, what a lousy guard. <laughs> okay, nothing here. Except for this entrance. Which one's the sheriff? Up here or down there? Not here. Rave Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon. Okay, so we have two reefs in this town. One is Alfred's man and one is... I don't know. How nice of you to check up on me. What? This is locked? Uh, Bart? Who's there? Probably the sheriff. Okay, the question is... How do I enter through that door? Where does that door lead to? against the Order of Ancients. Stolen from Goodwin? I have arranged to meet Harold at the tavern under the cover of darkness. He was terrified when I approached him in the open. Eyes starting left and right as if he thought the very wars were watching us. Harold did not come. I waited for more than an hour, and when I went to his home near the Minster, the place was torn apart, his belongings gone. Four others came forward with information on the gallows' identity, and all four have met a horrible end. Two were hanged in the square on petty charges. One was found dead allegedly after a drunken brawl. Another has fled. The two who were hanged. The gallows must be another reef, I am sure of it. Only we have the power to judge the people of Winchester. He is a public figure. He outwardly opposes Alfred's reforms. I do not dare write my suspicions here. The research continues for many more pages. Wow, a lot of evidence. Circumstantial, but evidence nevertheless. So the prime suspect would be Selwyn, right? The other reef. Ex-Blizzard. Okay. Why is he grunting like that? Yeah. 
nothing here. Fair enough. Whoa, this one's dark. Nothing's here either. Are you alright? in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let us go before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Well, everyone's dead, so that's not a problem. Let's regroup beyond the walls! No treasures left in here, right? Let's check real quick. Nope. Oh. <laughs> that guy's still running around. The prisoner that I freed? It's all right. Have my hood up again. I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Scourge well, of Mercia? Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's talk about the Sikhs. Is he really dead? Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop Aelfirth was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun-groper. Nun-groper? Jeez. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The Gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice, and this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. Is Selwyn a name you know? He seems to have judged and executed many for little more than stealing ale and bread. Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only what? one who End his terror, Eivor. Is that a little bit... too premature to just assume... Oh, he's the one. I mean... Okay, okay, he's the one. <laughs> oh, if the game tells us he's the one, then he must be. No, I mean... Are there only two reefs here? Are there more? How many reefs do we have? And can we list all of them? Jeez, do some research, everyone. Just assuming he's the one because, oh, it's just another reef. An unsavory fellow reef. Okay. Go. 
Zulin. Yeah, also we need to collect all the keys that are scattered around town for some reason. Mm, let's start with that one. Oh. Hush. Someone has hanged men for better thoughts. They already know that the bishop wasn't um was just pretending. Show me what lies ahead. Why is there a lone guard doing here? Okay, he's too far away to notice me. That's good. I'm I'm totally not suspicious. <gasps> Whoa. There are guards here? There's another key here. Okay, I can simply use the secret entrance to um, go into the house, right? No need to disturb the guards. Tax demand. I tire of your incompetence. If any of the merchants are reluctant to hand over their taxes, tell them you come from the gallows. And that is where they will find themselves if they do not pay their dues. Now do your job. So the gallows is collecting taxes, so part of the government maybe? Market. Public execution. Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. 
Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylfer was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Wow, the people here hate the bishop. Your wife is a baying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Uh-oh. Can we not do anything? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. Oh, wow. There are rats in the grain store, and Alfred has set the traps. You cannot steal and be welcome at our hearts. You cannot slander and keep your tongue. You cannot walk freely through our streets, mocking our lords and our kings. Can Alfred not do something? Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. See what he has found on the quill. What did he mean by I peer through the veil but I do not see clearly? Does that mean... My assumptions are not correct about Alfred? Wouldn't it make sense that Alfred is also part of the order? Jesus, my, my. I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. <sighs> Where's the good wife of Hubert? Selwyn is dead. His lies poisoned everyone against us, and for what? Some only care for their own power and position. I'm sorry I could not save your husband. My son is not an orphan today. There was no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. Hmm. I'm sorry for your loss. Anyway. Okay, thankfully... Um, Goodwin wasn't wrong. Selwyn was indeed 
a member of the order. Oh, Eivor. What the hell is Goodwin? Aid me, be my eyes. Uh, any keys nearby? On the other side of the city. Fine. Ivor, what's up with you? Why can you not climb over this stupid fence? Oh yeah, there's still this treasure we couldn't get to. Take this. Another God beggar. Favor you, friend. A cheerful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangle. <laughs> And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? Mm. I... I just did what you asked. Okay, not true. I also killed a couple of guards. <laughs> uh, do this yourself then. Sweep your own hearth, Alfred, if you do not like my broom. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. Oh, wow. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some. See where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. In that moment, Alfred seems to be honestly humble. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Um. Wow. Do you need money? I did not find any charm, unfortunately. I don't, I don't want to give you money. <laughs> I found no charm. Lucky or otherwise. A bit of silver then? For my troubles. It would not have the same value, would it? You ugly Dane! Make your curse your boils on your face! No, I would have given you the silver now that you asked. Ah, oh. Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? This is all 
Are we tailing a kid? Very poetic, but he's going to be better. I mean, this isn't exactly tailing, it's like running behind her. Do I need to make sure not to get detected? Not sure. Wait, who's that? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you're a child. You there, little cut purse. Keep your beak out, Nosy. I'm starving. Okay, okay, okay. She's with a guard. <gasps> what are they doing? Gods be it! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! <laughs> God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. Okay. The girl is right over there with the guard. Do I need to be careful? Whoops. Wait, are you not the girl? Damn. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Damn it. She give me the slip. Oh, she's... The location is marked. On my map. Mm. Let's try to get to this treasure. I mean, I tried for a little bit and then gave up. Okay, can't climb in from that window. This window isn't protected, right? <laughs> yep. And this thing is unbreakable. <laughs> King's Secret. Reeve Goodwin came to me, to, uh, came to, came to me to aid our king. Hemorrhoids. The king suffers greatly from ficus and receives this painful ailment as a divine reward. Send at his request to assist him in resisting carnal desire. I prescribed balm and have received good news that the itching has eased. <laughs> a divine reward. To assist him in resisting carnal desire. Okay. Not sure if he's serious about it. But after all, the king must maintain that he's God's divine ruler, right? So, if he says, oh, it's a punishment, then no one would take him seriously. There she is. You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? <gasps> Oi! Wigbert! You great moon calf! 
Oh, who are they? Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, no, I don't want to give them money. Uh, thankfully, I got the charisma option. Turn around, walk away, and you keep your insides inside. All right, all right, no harm meant. Stay out of trouble, you grub mite. So now you owe me, right? <laughs> that showed them. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? Okay, what did you steal? What is so important that you would risk his little neck for it? Keep your sticky beak out of our business. Whose business? The quills? Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? Those were the quills meat mops. And you sent them scurrying off with their tails between their legs. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you are not working for the quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. What? What did you took? What did you take? A key. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Thanks for your confidence. Ah, oh, the sewers again? Wait. Is that the woman that we sent away? No way, right? Okay, Selwyn. Maybe we should read this. Selwyn came from a rich family where he was used to lording it over servants and serfs alike. He did not take kindly to his father's drinking, gambling, womanizing and dissipating the family fortune. He views his lineage with shame and distaste. He had to drag himself up from the filth and shed the moral decrepitude that results in giving the weak freedom. The order gave him control, determined to save people from themselves. He set about to enforce the law and act judgment and rid the world of human affluence. Mm, how unsavory. No, this was not the one we sent away. Okay. Okay, the quill has written a manifesto against education. Yes, we already got that. The young girl said the quill's little spies come up from the sewers like rats. The church is no place for a woman of intelligence. This was a lesson Hilda learned early on in life. Orphaned at six years old, she found shelter in a monastery. But while the young male initiates spent days at study and prayer, she was banished to the kitchen. She began listening in doorways, hiding in shadows and blackmailing monks with the secrets she learned, asking only that they teach her things of importance, reading, writing, Latin. Latin. In the church, her voracious intelligence was her undoing. In the order, it was a revelation. Bishop Aylford saw value not only in her sharp wit, but her ruthlessness. She quickly built a network of children like herself, quick and sharp. Small hands quick to steal, small ears quick to listen. No secret in Winchester is safe from the quill's army of little spies. Okay, but the two children we talked to weren't um, associated with the quill, huh? How come? But I guess this is another moral dilemma we have here. She is basically le um, leading an orphanage and when we shut it down, what happens to all the orphans? Oh yeah, for some reason the extra skills I got last time vanished again 
I don't know what happened, but it seems like they were buggy maybe, I don't know. Are there any keys to lie? Guide me. Oh, there's a treasure. I don't care about that too much. Mm, the key is all the way over there. Let's try to fetch the key first. Winchester Seminary. Dull lesson. In the 70th year of our Lord's incarnation, the Roman invaders built a settlement on the very site you are standing now. They called this new town Venta Belgarum after a local tribe of barbarians named the Belgaris. They made this place a center of industry, learning and culture. They were godless heathens then, but the light of our Lord transformed them in time. Right, the Romans turned to Christianity in the end, right? Turgid text. The last heathen oppressor left Britain in the year of our Lord 407. Lawlessness ruled. Tribes fought with each, each other for land and wealth. And our good town was abandoned, eventually falling to rubble and ruin. Mm, lots of kids here. Cedric and Sinric killed the British king named Nathan Laird and 5,000 men along with him. After this was the land named Netley from him, as far as Charford. Then did they undertake the government of the West Saxons, and from that day, in 519 AD, have the children of the West Saxon kings reigned. Deathly Dull Manuscript we Saxons returned 200 years later, farmed a fertile land outside the crumbling walls. We named the place Venta Casta. In time, this was corrupted to Winchester. Oh, interesting. How very educational. Oh, that's why it's called a seminary. Well, from what I've heard, the bishop wasn't a man of the church. The old minster. Okay. Now how do I get in? Okay, interesting, interesting. No way to get in. This is not good. Oh, and another key in the in the tower. Hmm. 
wait. Oh, okay. No, this was the locked, um, locked chest, right? Where I needed to collect all the keys first. Right. Okay, okay, okay. How many locks does this chest have? Mm, can I see? Three only? I collected way more than three, didn't I? Maybe there's an underground passage? Oh no, here! Here's the key. Old Winster chest key. Okay, let's try again. Maybe I have enough keys now. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Be my eyes, Sunan. Can I see any other keys? Oh yeah. Okay, there's one over there. It's already marked. <laughs> Evo, you can't you can't climb up like this. I have a key for this, yes. Get in from above. Nope. Uh, where's the treasure hoard? Oh, also behind this door? Hmm. Oh, damn! I can't. I can't go in. Ah, but here. Oh, how do I climb up though? <laughs> Damn, what? I can't climb up like this. Oh, I need to move this one. Okay, 
see if this should do it. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. Let's go. There's supposed to be a way to the sewers. Probably where all the guards are. Okay, they're all underground. Oil jar. See, Sunan. Okay, somewhere here. I should watch out for a mouse trap. Mm, good point. You should be careful. Wait, I can talk to people? Are these the children? Maybe. <laughs> Don't snitch on me. I didn't get nothing today. Well, that wasn't very helpful. I like the I'm going to marry King Alfred, but Magister Bat and he's gonna whisk me away from all this toil. Marry King Alfred? Okay. Everyone died and left me alone on the streets. Ah, uh, these are no living conditions. There's never enough food. I'm always starving. That's kind of bad, isn't it? Sorry children, didn't mean to startle you. Okay, two people here. Come here. Okay, two more guards above.
We already took care of this one. Oh wow. Oh, this looks like some sort of fighting chamber. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. What about these other guards over there? Are they just completely irrelevant? Nothing inside the water? you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms. Mm, I Where suspect we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! What? Oh, Holy, okay. <laughs> ah. Ouch! Shizzle! Okay, you need to stop doing that. Okay, I need to dodge her. I can't dodge her, right? Okay, no time to read. Okay. She's gone already. Oh, okay, okay, I need to... Okay, okay. Welp. Oh, I can't let her reach the guarded location. She would be much harder to kill. That means... Aelfar's roof. Does she flee to the bishop's house? Am I too late already? She's at a guarded location already. Damn it. Someone's still chasing me? No. Okay, well, unfortunately, that's that, but we can go in stealthily, right. Yeah, I was already quite suspicious when the two kids said that they weren't walking for the quill. Because they were orphans, and why didn't they work with the quill? Doesn't make any sense, right? Hilda. I can already hear her. Who is she talking to?
Underground Passage. Okay, she's already preparing herself to die. I see. Temple of Mithras. Okay. Do I see any key here? This is probably not the way to kill her, right? Okay, fine. This is just a random thing and related to the quest. The thing is, I don't have any uh, um, adrenaline left, so this will be a challenge. And there she is, just making her rounds. I can! Also... Use these monks to hide myself. Worry. Blend in. Come on. Come on, my brothers and sisters. Let's listen to the holy word of the bishop. What? Come on. Go on. What are you doing? Hmm? Now oh, they're going back. The hell? Do not leave my side. Oh. Is that a net next batch? What the hell, Eivor? Please blend in with the monks. Do not leave my side! Mm, what are you doing? Can we go back, please? This heathen will kill us all! Okay, okay. Alright, you can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God may protect you. Something, something. Let's... Kill her. Come, child. Whisper what you've learned, and 
mother will give you a treat. Coward. Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? <laughs> taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worth. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. Oh, I'm a bit conflicted about this one, to be honest. <laughs> 